everyone, this is 22 Tiger Dude, and I am here to do a Blu-ray, DVD, video game, oh shit, update. So yeah, this is where I show you what I bought. So there's a couple of movies I ordered from Disney Movie Club that arrived in my mail on Friday the 20th of February. And then the movies that I bought from Target, the one movie from Best Buy and the one video game from Eric Tamar, I got all of them from Saturday the 21st. So the first movie I'm going to start off with is... Birdman, The Unexpected Virtue of Ignorance, the movie that just won Best Picture of the Year at the Academy Awards 2015. Now, what are the odds that I was going to buy Birdman the day before the Oscars? I, but I love Birdman whether it won Best Picture or not. This is, without a doubt, one of the best movies I've seen in 2014. It was really better than I expected, because when I went to this film, I'm all like, this looks like a film I'm going to think it's good. I just wanted a good movie. I wasn't expecting an amazing movie or anything. So I just came in with just solid expectations. But then I came out, and I'm all like, wow. That was incredible, and that's what this movie is. The cinematography is great, which it also won Best Cinematography, so congrats to that. It deserved to win that because the cinematography, holy shit, is just gorgeous. Performances are great. Michael Keaton really shows why he's one of the best actors working today. 2014 was Michael Keaton's comeback year because... After the other guys, which was in 2010, Michael Keaton really hasn't been making movies lately. He came back with the RoboCop remake, then he has like an extended cameo role in Need for Speed, and now Birdman, so he had three movies that came out in 2014, but Birdman is obviously the one where Michael Keaton is pretty much going, yeah, he's back, baby. It's clever, it's very original, it's so refreshing. Booyah, ooh, look at that. Just congrats to this movie, huge congratulations. It's an honor just holding a Best Picture winner in my hands right now, but I really thought it deserved to win Best Picture, so yeah, congrats to Birdman. And that's what I bought from Target for only $16.99, which was a really good price for a movie that just recently came out on DVD and Blu-ray. And then another movie that came out on DVD and Blu-ray just recently is the movie Saint Vincent. Just like with Birdman, I got this for $16.99. I really like St. Vincent. It's one of the better movies to come out in the year 2014. It's one of the better comedies for sure. And it, felt, it just felt so good to see Bill Murray in a lead role again because I really like Bill Murray. Lately, you've been seeing him in these supporting roles, particularly in the Wes Anderson movies, which he's always great in. But... Bill Murray in the lead role again, it just felt good to see, and if you're not a fan of Melissa McCarthy, like if you're just tired of her doing a shameless stick, I recommend giving St. Vincent a chance, and you'll see that Melissa McCarthy is actually very capable as an actress. She was great here, she was very funny, she plays the mother that worries about her son Oliver, and she just really portrayed that well, and she was funny, but not in the far-fetched way, just in a very natural way and honestly when I first saw Melissa McCarthy in Bridesmaids I remember I couldn't stand her then I don't know yes yeah, she does the same old shtick but the more movies I'm seeing her in the more she's really starting to grow on me it's funny it's heartfelt it's just one of those feel-good comedy movies I think 2014 had really good Derek Toad debuts this was a really good Derek Toyo debut. Nightcrawler was a very good Derek Toyo debut. The Book of Life was a good Derek Toyo debut. So there have been some really good Derek Toyo debuts to come out in 2014. So Theodore Melfi, um, he did a really good job writing and directing this movie. So Theodore Melfi is going to be a filmmaker I'm definitely going to keep my eyes out for. And I look forward to seeing what he brings next. Because for this being his first film to write and direct, very impressive job. So now, before I do show what other movies I got at Target and Best Buy, I'm going to go ahead and show you the two Disney movies that I actually ordered from Disney Movie Club. It arrived in my mail on Friday the 20th. I got a hundred 
and one Dalmatians. It's the Blu-ray and DVD Diamond Edition and holy crap. Look at this slip cover. This is literally a mirror. You can look at yourself. Oh shit, I can see myself in the slip cover. But 101 Dalmatians. I really enjoyed this movie. It's definitely just a um, nice little Disney movie you could just sit down and watch. It really brought back memories just re-watching this movie. The animation is very beautiful. I'm definitely glad I ordered this because one thing I love about these Diamond Editions that Disney's been doing that's how I get to relive the memories. And then for the second one, I got the sequel, 101 Dalmatians 2, Patches London Adventure. I enjoyed this one as a kid, and watching it, I still think it's really enjoyable. It's a cute little movie, just like with the first one. You could just sit down and just enjoy it. It's a fun movie. The animation still looks really beautiful, especially considering this is the DVD and Blu-ray combo pack. So thank you, Disney Movie Club. This is definitely very awesome. Now to continue with the movies that I bought from Target. So the next one I got for $5 is Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Oh man, how awesome is this movie? This is a wonderful musical and if you by any chance have not seen this movie then I highly recommend you taking the time to watch this especially if you love musicals. If you don't like musicals I'm not sure how you would feel about this one uh, but I really love this movie. It's a classic. I've seen it countless times and I never get tired of watching it. It's just one of those movies that you can relax to watching, just sit back. The musical numbers are very well done. The cinematography is really beautiful, especially considering its time. It's a very well shot movie. The colors in this movie just really pop. So Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, when I saw this was only $5 at Target, I'm saying, God damn it. I'm buying this movie because this is awesome. It's one of the best musicals I've seen. Maybe in just in general, one of the best family movies I've seen. I adore this movie and I'm so glad that I finally own it so I could watch it more often now. Now the next movie I also got for five dollars from Target is The Princess Bride. This movie. Oh man. Rob Reiner. He just shows why I just love the director so much. You know, he's made very great movies, but The Princess Bride is by far one of the best movies that Rob Reiner has ever directed. It's a movie that I think that's fun for the whole family. It's very well shot. It's very well directed. The writing is so clever. And the characters are all very well done. It's just one of those movies that I've been wanting to own for a while now, but... I just couldn't really find it, but this one just came out out of the blue moon when I was at Target and I was searching through the $5 section, but The Princess Bride is just amazing. I love this movie. I absolutely adore it. I can't wait to rewatch it. What can I say? It's The Princess Bride. And now the final movie I'm about to show you is a movie that I bought for $4 and that is Good Well Hunting. This movie is really touching. It's very well directed. It's just one of those movies that just really gets to me right here. It's one of those movies that really makes you appreciate life. You have to look at what you have in life that really matters. And that's what this film does a great job of showing. You know, Robin Williams, it really is a shame that he's gone now, but his legacy with film is always going to live on. He's never going to be forgotten. And he gives a fantastic performance. Matt Damon was great here. Ben Affleck, even though his role is, isn't too big, he does a really good job with his role too. But Matt Damon and Ben Affleck, they did a great job just writing the screenplay together. One of those movies that's really special to me. The direction is very fluid. The cinematography is absolutely gorgeous. It's just all around a fantastic movie. It is one of the best films I've ever seen in my life. I love Goodwill Hunting and I'm glad I found it at Best Buy. And my mistake, I said $4. It's actually 
$4.99, so my mistake. Now you guys, before I do show you the one and only video game, I did record a little out and about video from when I was at Target, and a brief four to five second video when I was at Best Buy. So, enjoy you guys. And this is where I found Goodwill Hunting. Damn, look at all this. Well, I hope you all enjoyed that. I know some of you have been asking me to show that, and the reason I don't do that too often is because it's just really awkward to record a video of all these movies, and then you're gonna have people around you staring at you. So, I can't always promise these all the time, but I will try my best to do them at least once in a while. So now that I've showed you guys that, let's get to the only video game in this update. And that is the video game I've been wanting to buy for a while now, and I finally bought it. That is PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale. Oh, yeah, look at this. Oh, shit. Oh, this is so much fun. <laughs> I'm Sly Cooper, just so you all know. Hey, hey, do not fight me. Oh, screw you, Jack. Ah, gosh, everyone is so after me. Damn. This is so cool. Now I can see why there have been good reviews about this game. It's really fun. Ah, oh, yeah. Ah, uh, quality video games. I really, really like this game. This game is awesome. Like, it's really awesome. You got to play as Jack. And, you know, I love the Jack and Daxter video game franchise, so it's so cool to see them. You also have Sly Cooper, and if you guys have been following me, you guys know how much I love the Sly Cooper video game franchise. You also got Kranos from Mortal Kombat. That was a real surprise. There's just so many video game characters that you've grown up playing and that they're in this game, too go head to head each other. The graphics are very good, the controls are very well done. It's just all around a fun video game to play, but it's definitely even more fun when you're playing with others. And only for $14.99, so it was not a bad deal. It's one of those games that I'm glad I bought because it is so much fun in my opinion. Well, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this update. Let me know in the comments down below what did you think of Birdman, St. Vincent, Goodwill Hunting, The Princess Bride, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, 101 Dalmatians, 101 Two Dalmatians, and the video game PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale. Also, please subscribe to the Universe of the Blue Tubers channel because I do make videos for that channel. A very great group. Also, please check out my Valentine's Day King 3 video, you guys, because it's just one of those videos that I put a lot of time and effort in, and I would love to get more feedback on that video because it was just so much fun to do. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.